So general relativity is Einstein's description of the force of gravity. It describes the big things in the universe, stars, galaxies, the entire cosmos itself. On the other end of the spectrum, another group of scientists, Einstein actually among them, developed quantum mechanics, which is a theory of the smallest things in the universe, molecules, atoms, and subatomic particles. And it turns out that these two descriptions of the world do fantastically well in their respective domains. General relativity big, quantum mechanics small. But you try to put the theories together, the equations break down. It falls apart. And that has been the problem that we've been trying to solve for 70 or 80 years. So our, our best attempt to put gravity and quantum mechanics together is an approach called string theory. And string theory, at its heart, like the name suggests, tells us that the fundamental constituents of matter are not little tiny points, little dots, which is the old picture, but rather that inside every particle is something else, a little tiny loop, a little filament of vibrating energy that's called a string. Completely hypothetical idea. We don't know if it's correct, but among some of the strange implications, if it is correct, is the possibility that the universe has more than three dimensions of space. More than left, right, back, forth, and up, down. Now you might wonder, how could that be possible? How could it possibly be true? Well, one way is maybe these extra dimensions are real but tiny, crumpled up, curled up to a fantastically small size. They could be all around us, but so small that we can't see them with the naked eye, and we've yet to build powerful enough equipment to detect them in the laboratory. That's how there really could be more dimensions than the ones that we see in everyday life.